Welcome to Lesson 11. This lesson is titled Gradients, Blends, and Patterns. In this lesson, you'll explore various ways to work with gradients, blend shapes, and colors, and create and apply patterns. This is what you are starting with. This is your starting document. When you finish, it's going to look like this. And you can see that this is pink and red here, and this is green, and there's nothing on it. But when you finish it, you can see that there's gradients and different fills and colors, and so that's what you're going to end up with. So go ahead and, if you haven't already, open that folder. And we are going to click File, Save As, and we're going to go to your computer and your Lesson Lemon folder, and we're going to name this presentation and then your last name and save it <clears throat> click OK and then as we always do Windows workspace and we're going to reset our essentials so everybody's starting off with the same yours should look like mine mine should look like yours and so on and so forth okay are you ready to get started Before we get started on the lesson, because we're going to talk about gradients and just to show you different types of gradients, uh, it's a graduated blend of two or more colors, starting color and ending color, three different types. And this is how they are described. You have a linear, linear gradient, which is one color blends into another along a straight line like you see here, a radial beginning color radiates out from the center point to an end color as you can see in this one and then free form which is a graduated blend of color stops within a shape in an ordered or random sequence that gives a blending a smooth appearance like a natural color and those are the three different types of gradients linear radial and free form you might see that on a certification test so <clears throat> you can use gradients provided with Illustrator or create your gradients and save them as swatches for later use except for freeform gradients. You can create blends between colors, add volume, or add a light and shadow effect to your artwork using gradients. As you go through this lesson, you'll see examples of each type of gradient and understand why you use each. All right. So a starting color blends into an ending color along a straight line with the simplest two-color linear gradient. To begin this lesson, you'll apply a gradient fill that comes with Illustrator to a background shape to give the idea of a sunset. So go down here and we're going to choose Presentation 1. Presentation, one presentation slide. From the artboard navigation menu and then select the selection tool double click the larger pink shape bet behind the crescent moon that one right there <clears throat> this is a great way to enter isolation mode for a single shape so you can focus on the pink shape without the other content on top of it check the fill color box click the swatches button our swatches button yours isn't already selected select the gradient swatched name white black that's this one right here white black leave the swatches showing next you'll edit the color in the default black and white gradient you apply and you can see that we have a gradient that goes from white to black hence the name white black so with the swatches panel still showing, click the fill color box. I'm going to move this up. <clears throat> click the gradient options button right down here. That's going to open this up. And click the, uh, do the following in the gradient panel. We want to click the fill box, which is that one right there. Right there. See where it says right there? Fill. 
hits the eye. Uh, and the panel double click the black color circle called a color stop. So this one right here, which when you highlight it, it says gradient slider. There's been discussion about why it says gradient slider versus color stop, which it used to, but that's an Adobe thing. So double click that. And the panel that appears, click the swatches button to show the swatches. Swatches button. And select the yellow swatch down here in the bottom. That one right there. You'll be using the colors in that folder for the rest of the lesson. Press the escape key after selecting that swatch. Leave the white color on the left side of the gradient slider white, like you see it. So that one's white, this one's now yellow. If you want to try practicing, change the white color by double clicking it. Uh, the leftmost gradient stop to edit the starting color. Know, know that the gradient won't match when you use the rest of the chapter. So if you want to change something, do stuff, it's fine. But if you want to leave it like it is, that's fine as well. So next, you'll save the gradient as a swatch in the Swatches panel. Saving a gradient is a great way to be able to apply it to other artwork easily and maintain consistency in the gradient appearance across artwork. I'm going to close, close that. All right, so now we're going to click the fill color box in the properties panel. In the swatches panel that opens, click new swatch at the bottom of the panel. We're going to type background and then click OK. You should now see the new gradient swatch in the swatches panel. It's usually at the end of the main color list. So it's right there. There's your main color list up here, and there's that new one right there. Background. See, we hover your mouse over it, and you should see it. All right. Uh, click the Show Swatch Kinds menu right there at the bottom of that. And we're going to choose Show Gradient Swatches. And that displays only the gradient swatches in the Swatches panel. It lets you sort colors based on type like gradient swatches. With the shape still selected on the artboard, apply some of the different gradients by selecting them in the Swatch panel. So if you click on these, you can see the effect that it has on it. Different ones have different things. All right, so click the gradient name background, the one you just saved in that panel to make sure it's applied. And then click the show swatch kinds menu again. And choose show all swatches. And then let's click file and then save with that still selected just so we're all saved the same thing so not only can you adjust the color of a gradient but you can also adjust the gradients direction origin and beginning and end points using the gradient tool now you'll adjust the gradient fill in the selected shape so the colors follow the contour of a shape with that shape still selected and the gradient panel still open. If you want to open that, you can click Window and then Gradient. Because I had closed it. Make sure that the fill box is selected. So click on the fill box. So you can edit the gradient applied to the fill. Change the angle value to 90. So click here and change that to 90. 
make sure the gradient shows yellow on top and white at the bottom so it's more yellow up here white on the bottom in the gradient panel drag the white color stop to the right to shorten the gradient so click here and drag this to the right to shorten that gradient the transition from white to yellow will now happen over a shorter distance in the shape now you'll see how to visually adjust the gradient in a shape so you can do so directly on the artwork using the gradient tool I was not in so that's if you were in isolation mode like we were before that's what you would see and you can see it better when this is done here I was no longer in isolation mode so if you were in isolation mode fine if you weren't that's fine so if you are in isolation mode press the escape key and that takes you out so now let's use a selection tool and click away from that so it's not selected and double click the dark rolling hill shape down here to isolate that so that's now in isolation mode click the edit gradient in the bottom of your properties panel right here click edit gradient clicking the edit gradient button selects the gradient tool in the toolbar and enters gradient editing mode with the gradient tool you can apply a gradient to an object's fill or edit an existing gradient fill Notice the horizontal gradient slider in the middle of the artwork like the one found in the gradient panel. The slider is called a gradient annotator. That's probably a word you haven't heard or said today, annotator. The gradient annotator indicates the color, direction, and length of the gradient. You can use this on the art to edit the gradient without opening the gradient panel. The color circles represent the color stops. The tiny black circle on the left shows the starting point talking about right here the tiny square on the right is the ending point so starting ending the diamonds you see between the color stops are the midpoints between each color these diamonds right here on the top of it so with the gradient tool selected starting just above the top of the shape press the shift key and drag down to just below the bottom of the shape so got a problem Houston we got a problem oh. choose the direct selection tool now click on this hold down the ship Oop. hmm let me get it right here. I'm having issues. As you are aware, sometimes I overthink things and I do things wrong. Uh, so <laughs> I was trying to, I was thinking that the shape should be selected. It's not. So this is what you should have. And just click above this, hold down the shift key and drag it. <laughs> well, all right, here we go. Click above it, hold down the shift key, drag it down, and you can see that it changed it. You can see up here in the angle, it's now a negative 90. So as you drag, you can see a live preview. Now you can redraw it. So if you start over here and go at an angle, you can see how it changed it that way. So release it when you look good, when it looks good. Some of y'all, not when you look good, because some of y'all, we would be here for like months and, well, never mind. I, I'm, I shouldn't have said that. I'm sorry. Uh, so keep get yours like you like it everybody's is going to be different I'm going to keep mine at this angle like I have it here uh, select the selection tool once you've done that 
press escape key to exit the isolation mode and we will end this video because it's long.